This is our brand new resource, um, which is all about SQL lessons for key stages four and five. So in the first lesson, it goes through the basics of, um, it's all based on a kind of murder mystery style, um, kind of solving a, a case. So this case, we've got the case, the stolen phone, we've got some information, um, and we've got to use that information to work out who it is. Um, so it then goes into um, how we store data and goes through the basics of databases. And then it goes into SQL. So it starts with the select statement um, and the different uh, sections within that, gives some examples and then gets the students to um, have a go at that. So the students um, get a key vocabulary sheet in case they need to refer to those. Um, there's a full lesson plan that tells you everything that you need, how it fits into the curriculum uh, and breaks everything down to make it nice and easy. Um, on the worksheet, it's got the first case uh, there about the, the stolen phone um, and then the next one all about, uh, so challenge one, all about the theft at Moorcraft Manor um, and some information there that students need to work out. Um, go through the answer to the task um, and then starts talking about the next section within the select statement which is order by so that you can put the sections in order. Go to an example and again gives the students another challenge um, this time for the case of the missing money. Go through the answer for that one then talks about the use of the asterisk within SQL using some of the other operators and then goes through challenge three and again the answer goes through or and the operators again for that, challenge four and the answer and there is also an extension activity for cases four and five on that worksheet as well. All of the answers are provided and it will give you the screenshots from the database to show uh, those as well. Um, and then the last bit is the Parsons problem so the students have to use, reorder the code to put it into the right order. And again, it gives you the answers for those as well. So the Parsons problems are all on a separate sheet. And it gives you the Parsons problems for each of the, the cases that they've been through during the lesson. For the SQL lessons, it first of all checks the students' uh, knowledge from the previous lesson, getting them to label the table, goes to the answers. Um, and then the content that covers up in lesson two and lesson three is more aimed at A-level. So initially it goes to the Parsons problems uh, and recaps from the previous lesson and then gives them a challenge again based on the knowledge from the previous lesson as well. Um, from this point forward this content is not covered in GCSE so this is A-level only although you may want to use this with some of your students um, that do need that uh, stretch and challenge. So it goes through the insert into statements and shows how you would insert information into the database gives students the challenges to do that, talks about updating the information in the database, deleting from the database um, and dropping tables. Um, also talks about wildcards where you can do specific types of searching and then gives them some cases to work through. So again, just like the previous lesson, you do get the key vocabulary sheet um, the worksheet that has all of the different cases on that the students are going to do along with the extension activities. There's also the answers to each of those activities on the worksheet. Information about wildcards in case students need to refer to that and the full written um, lesson plan as well. Um, so in this task, the students are given um, a database. So this is a CSV file that students can import into database software. Um, if you've got it or if you really needed to, you could just view it within um, within the spreadsheet here. This is again A-level standard um, content. Starter activity, getting students to think carefully about the data and what's, what's sensible. Um, and then going through some different types of databases that they covered in the previous lesson. And then moving on to a bit more about relationships and entity relationship diagrams different types of keys and then starts looking at the join statement within SQL. So it talks about um, how to do that, how to build it up, gives a full select statement that uses that join 
and then gives the students some challenges to have a go at. So after the challenges, there's a quiz at the end just to check for their assessment. Um, again, each of the information that the students need for this relational database is set up in CSV files. So again, if you really needed to, you could do this in the spreadsheet, but it would be better to actually view this within a database and get it all set up. But that's all there for you, as well as the lesson plan and the vocab sheet and the worksheet for the students to work through with the different cases. Uh, some worked examples so that the students can see how you comment in SQL what kind of SQL statements you might write, which is all annotated so that they can see that in. And then goes through some more worked examples so that the students can see for each of these, as well as just giving the actual answers, it shows them how to build that up. Um, so again, the answers are on here, as well as the worked example sheet. 